What's up everyone? Today I really wanted to share with you some facts, some unusual, unnecessary, whatever you wanna call it, photography facts. So here we go, I'll probably split this up into uh, a couple parts, you know, just throw out more facts later on. So here we go, sit back and enjoy and tell me what kind of unusual facts you know. The first fact is pretty damn interesting if you ask me, and it's the fact that in, back in the Victorian era, during their photography, obviously you had to use long exposure times. It's nothing like we had today because digital didn't exist, exist back then. So what, you know, if uh, people wanted portraits done of their kids or anything, mothers would actually ca be camouflaged into the scene and hold their child. So that way they blended in. All right, photographer, take our picture because I, uh, I blend in, right? Whoops. Smile. I, I said smile. If you didn't know Kodak back in the day, basically owned 90% of the market in regards to photography. They're great with film and they created so much. But it's pretty interesting that basically they invented digital technology but failed and now are bankrupt because they didn't switch to digital. Did you know that 20% of photos taken this year and will probably go up next year will be posted on Facebook online? Well, interestingly enough, 140 billion photos are in Facebook's archives. That is 100,000 times the amount that is in the Library of Congress. So basically, there's a lot of photos going on. Did you know that the first photographic paper was basically made of asphalt? Yeah, you know, there's a parking lot right here, so that's paper, right? Well, no. Basically, it was a form of asphalt that was basically dissolved onto either the copper plate or, uh, or glass, or glass plate back in the day. Interesting, isn't it? Well, let's go back a couple years on this one to 1879. Pretty recent, you know, but it's pretty interesting. The first, basically, portrait, the first photo done with electric light was done and required a 15 second exposure. Pretty different nowadays, don't you think? About another quick fact the term megapixel was first used in 1984. Wow. I thought this is one of the coolest photography facts, unusual, you know, different ideas, but think of it this way. Picture your eyes, your aperture, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. In bright situations, it's equivalent to your eyes going to go to about an F8, so it's going to close down. So how about dark situations? How about when there's not enough light? It'll open up to about an F2.1. have to get my notes out on this one so you get the exact details because it's pretty Im impressive. The, f this, this lens is the largest, biggest, heaviest lens ever made, and it was uh, customized for a wildlife photographer. So who made it? It was the Carl Zeiss APO Sonar T. How long was the focal length? 1,700 millimeters. 1700 millimeters and it weighed in a whopping 564 pounds or 256 kilograms and this photographer was using a, a Hasselblad uh, 6x6 medium format and yeah uh, I don't even know the price tag on it it didn't say but wow still to this date there was a 1923 Leica that was sold at an auction in Vienna for 2.8 million dollars yeah let me just uh let me just go and uh yeah, I don't even I don't even have anything in here. I uh, yeah. And one of the last facts I'm gonna include in this is that, and it's pretty important to me because I love collecting, you know, cameras and I and I've just started, but basically since 1977, the largest camera collection belongs to a guy in Dubai, India, and he has over 4,400 different specific unique antique cameras. Um, I'll never get there. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. If you enjoyed this video, give it a quick thumbs up right there and subscribe if you're really liking this stuff. But there are at least 10 unusual, different, unnecessary facts that you now know that you now possess and that you can go, <laughs> I know something you don't. So that's all I got, Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. There's some unnecessary knowledge. There'll be a part two coming up in the future.